November 7, 1940, 10 a.m., Puget Sound, Washington. A wind speed of just 42 miles per hour hits the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. By 10.30, the 5,000-ton structure is behaving like a ribbon in the wind. This is not simple resonance. This is a catastrophic phenomenon known as aeroelastic flutter. The engineers made a fatal calculation. They prioritized aesthetics over aerodynamics, using solid steel plate girders instead of open trusses to block the wind. But the wind didn't stop. It diverted above and below the deck, creating lift. The bridge effectively became a giant, unstable airplane wing trapped in a violent stall. For 70 minutes, the concrete road deck twisted 45 degrees in both directions, rising and falling 28 feet every 5 seconds. The acoustic pressure was extreme, thousands of rivets shearing under tension. Finally, at 11.10 a.m., the suspension cables reached failure point. The mid-span tore free and plummeted 195 feet into the freezing water below. Today, the wreckage remains at the bottom of the Narrows. It is no longer a bridge. It is one of the world's largest artificial reefs, hiding a much darker ecosystem in the deep.